Yo, what's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I wanted to update you guys on the whole situation from yesterday. So if you guys don't remember, my basement flooded, that's where my office and all my electronics were. Obviously a very big deal, but it turns out that it's way bigger of a deal than I thought it was and it's uh, a lot worse than I thought it was. I wanted to kind of share the experience and kind of the lessons learned from the past like 16 hours because uh, this is a situation where it's really easy to get taken advantage of and it's a situation that happens to a lot of people. Like most of you guys, I hope not, but most of you guys will probably have have a basement or a bathroom or something flood at some point in your lives and hopefully you guys can remember this video and, and I can help you guys out save you some heartache some money some frustration so uh, anyway it was a sump pump the sump pump they have the uh, floats in them and I had an older sump pump so it had like a, a detached float and it got stuck like the float it rises up with the water it you know kind of triggers something when it gets to a certain point and tells the pump to turn on and pump the water out it got stuck it's just a fluke it happens sometimes and so it didn't come up it didn't know to turn on and obviously the water kept rising, it got into that closet and stepped out into the room. So the first thing I did is I called a professional, like a, a water restoration place, and they said the number one thing you have to do is you have to get the floor dry. So you know, if you have just kind of like a tile floor like this, obviously that'd be easy. You can use like a shop vac or you know, even a broom and kind of like sweep it into a drain or something like that. But I had carpet, and carpet's a lot harder. Carpet, usually most people will call a professional and have them come out and suck it up, because they can do it really, really quick. The thing with me is, you know, that basement down there, I recently put carpet in there. It has like tile like this on the floor. And since I'm selling the house, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw the carpet out. You know, I'm just gonna cut up and throw the carpet out. I'm selling the house, it doesn't matter. The tile looks nicer anyway. So that's what I did. I'll show you guys the pile out here. So heavy, dude. Wet carpet is literally like gains yesterday. Gains all day. But uh, there's the carpet and the pad over there if you guys can see that. So. I cut that up, got it out, and then the, uh, the professionals, the, the restoration professionals, they came out to give me a bid or a quote or kind of like a, an estimate on how much it would cost. So uh, the guy, he was really, really cool. <laughs> and I wish I could give him a shout out, but I can't because I don't want to get him in trouble. But um, so he comes in, he sees like my Call of Duty posters and stuff. He talks about how he plays Call of Duty with his nephew, who's seven and always beats him and things like that. He didn't know who I was, he didn't watch YouTube or anything, but he was just like a Call of Duty fan. And so we kind of, you know, connected with that. and. Um, he kind of looked at it and he kind of saw the damage and he was going to give me the estimate. And I think that he saw that, you know, I'm like a frazzled kid living by himself, never having, you know, never dealt with something like this before, like didn't have anybody around to help me out. And he was like, you know, this is going to be 1200 bucks. And I was like, wow, $1,200. That is crazy. Like, that is absolutely nuts. But I've got to, right? You know, there, there's no other way to handle this. I don't know anybody else that can take care of this. So I'm going to have to pay this. And then as he was leaving, he was like, dude, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. What our company will charge you to do for this, you can literally go rent these fans from XXX place and, uh, oh, that sounded wrong, but you can rent them from blank place, I forget what the name was, and, uh, and you can literally get this done for about an eighth of what we're gonna charge you. And, and then he left. So like, shout out to that dude, that was absolutely amazing. He easily could have just conned me out of $1,200. And that's what I'm saying, like it's easy to take advantage of people and you know, kind of like home situations because most people aren't handy like that. They don't know what to do. So uh, I went out and I got these fans and this is literally all you have to do. Oh, so why do I need the fans? Well, the biggest like problem with water in the, the, the kind of room and stuff like that isn't the fact that it's on the floor, like that's not a big deal, but it starts seeping up into the walls. Drywall acts kind of like cardboard when it gets wet and it sucks it up like a straw. Like even if there's only a half inch of water, it'll come up to like here in the drywall. And obviously that's a bad deal. Obviously it'll eventually get mold after like 72 hours or something like that. And if you start to get mold, then you have to have mold people come out and fix the mold and possibly even just knock out the wall and have to put a new wall up, which is obviously not what you want to do. So you need to get the walls dry. And, and literally all you have to do that is fans. <laughs> like I thought it was going to be like some super like futuristic crazy technology where you know they had to put like all kinds of electronics and stuff in here and crazy stuff to dry it out. No, it's literally just fans and a dehumidifier. So there's a dehumidifier and then we've got fans here. They're like industrial sized fans that literally they just blow along the wall and that drives the wall. That's literally all you have to do. Like it's the craziest thing in the world and I almost got charged $1,200 for somebody to set up four fans in a dehumidifier. That's crazy. But uh, this, so depressing. Look at this box. Look at that box. It's like falling apart. I literally, I took it out of the box 
and I held it like this and water was pouring out of it. I'm not sure if it's entirely dead yet. I'm assuming it is, but uh, I'm waiting for it to dry. I figured if I stuck it down here with the dehumidifier, that might, uh, that might be able to help it out and, and help it get better, but um, we'll see. I'm guessing the PS4 has seen its last days because the water was like literally pouring out of it. It was like, oh, it was awful. But, uh, oh, last thing I want to show you guys, check this out. So my, uh, my router was always downstairs. So if you look, we have an ethernet cable coming up, going up the wall. <laughs> this is so ghetto rig, dude. Coming up the wall, coming down the hallway. And now in the room right across from my bedroom, we've got my new setup. So check this out. Very low key, not all the crap and all the craziness that was in my other office. You know, I, I liked having, you know, all the stuff up on the walls and all the old memorabilia and stuff. But it's also kind of nice to just bring it back to basics. Like, I feel like I'm back in my mom's house right when I started, like, three and a half years ago, uh, just kind of grinding it out. You know, I mean, obviously the triple monitor setup is pretty nice. But other than that, like, it's, it's literally a desk, a computer, and consoles. And that's what I'm working with now. So uh, we're going back to basics. Hopefully, I can, uh, can start bringing you guys Call of Duty videos again soon. The internet is kind of like wonky. It's like three 25-foot Ethernet cables with these connectors that I had. And it just kind of goes in and out. It's not enough to play. I tried playing and it wasn't really working out well. So, uh, so I'm probably going to go to Best Buy uh, and get charged an arm and a leg for like a 100-foot Ethernet cable or something like that. But uh, hopefully, we can get that figured out today. And I'll be able to bring you guys videos tomorrow. So uh, yeah, that, my friends, is the deal. It stinks. Uh, if you guys ever have a room or something like that flood, get the floor dry. You don't want wet stuff just sitting in there. That's going to make it 10 times worse. And then like literally, there's no futuristic stuff they have to do. You just, you go rent some industrial fans and, and you blow them on the walls. And that's literally all that it takes. So don't get charged $1,200 like I almost did. Shout out to the dude that saved me from that. I really do appreciate that. And, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. More great videos coming soon. Check out one of the other two videos. Have you seen yet? Peace out.